Former president of Norfolk State University tells Ted on your side that he thinks the current administration is blaming him for the school's accreditation being put on probation. Yeah, yesterday at 5.30, we showed you a statement from current interim president Eddie Moore, Jr. He's part of uh, what we ran, and we want to show this to you. Uh, we believe the concerns are a result of administrative and governance issues from previous years. Ten on your side, Zanny Fox had an interesting conversation, shall we say, <laughs> with Dr. Tony Atwater, who was fired last summer. Yeah, Andy, what did he say? Well, he called you, right? Did you hear, yeah, did you hear that previous year? Yeah, right. Previous years before I got here, and mm -hmm. I pointed out to Dr. Atwater during our interview that President Moore's letter also reads this, quote, Norfolk State has made substantial progress in the past 15 months. Hmm, 15 months. That is exactly the time when Dr. Atwater was kicked out as president. Moore is saying things are better after Dr. Atwater. But are they? This could and likely will significantly impact enrollment, fundraising, and uh, also a budget, uh, budgetary support for uh, programs. That's what probation will do to Norfolk State University, says former NSU President Tony Atwater. He's critical of interim president Eddie Moore, who noted in his news release on the probation that NSU remains a fully accredited institution. Probation decision will not impair students' eligibility for federal financial aid. I would say that that is backpedaling and uh, essentially uh, downplaying you know, the significant negative consequences of a probation. Dr. Atwater, who remains a faculty member at the school, says enrollment is in a stunning decline. 700 fewer students since the fall of 2013. We were told at that faculty meeting that they very well could involve some personnel layoffs and also some program cuts. We pointed out to Dr. Atwater, though, that he was fired because things were bad when he was president at the university, that he failed to get audits completed in a timely manner, failed to connect with the Board of Visitors, failed to win the confidence of Richmond legislators who lost faith that Atwater had or could change the negative direction at NSU. Certainly, I take some responsibility for some of the issues. But Atwater blames the systematic failures at the school. Weak full-time faculty workforce, low quality instructional facilities, inadequate student advisors, inadequate enrollment management, and lack of Board of Visitors leadership. But things, remember, were wrong at NSU when Dr. Atwater was president. Things were bad when things you were Things were, were basically uh, very, very bad, you know, and getting worse when I was there. Now what I think the accreditation review is saying is they're much worse than when Tony Atwater is president. Uh, what everything is saying is there's a lot of blame to go around and things are not right at Norfolk State University. Tomorrow, Norfolk State University's Board of Visitors will hold its regular meeting. You can bet declining enrollment, stunning, probation, and the other issues we just outlined in this 10 on Your Side report will be the topics of discussion tomorrow. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on Your Side.